Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. I got a confession to make today. It's a very serious one. Uh, for about a month and a half now, I've been into Initial D. Uh, it started off with just looking at the memes. I'm not an anim I'm not an anime watcher, but I've been converted. I've been watching Initial D. I've watched every single fucking episode series so far. I think I got some of the movies left. But today I figured I'd take a video that I've been planning for about a month now, and that's to get my hands on Initial D for the Game Boy Advance and give it a little bit of a play. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this game is a racing game where you have to make split-second decisions, literally, and uh, it's just going down the mountains in your lovely AE86 or whatever you know, vehicle you want to choose, and frankly, I want to play it because, hey, you know, I figured if I'm into Initial D, I might as well make one video tributed to it. Now, here's the game, ladies and gentlemen, Initial D, another stage. As you can tell, it's in Japanese, so I'm not going to be really translating the game for you, all right? It's really in Japanese. I'm probably going to fail pretty hard, but it's got the Eurobeats, it's got all you really need, and frankly, at that point, what else do you really fucking want, right? It's Initial D. So here we get to pick the story, we got the free battle, which I don't have access to yet. You get to link it up, so if you had a GBA link cable, which I don't have two GBAs, I don't have a fucking link cable, and I do not have two copies of fucking Initial D. Uh, and you got your options menu, we're gonna go hit story, start off from- ooh, must have hit the B button. That's hit story, see what we got over here, it's got a story over here as you can tell. I can't translate the squigglies for you, so we're just gonna assume that this is set in the year 2033. And they just discovered how to make hyper cars, hover cars drift, sorry. So here we're at the SO gas station where I think all these motherfuckers, all they do is chill over here. Oh my god, it's boss, man, the chillest boss ever. In the anime, there was at one point where this dude was about to get laid and the dude was like, leave your job, get laid instead. He's the coolest boss in the fucking anime in the world. But uh, here we get to pick our characters. Now I could give it English uh, names, but I feel like that would be going against it. So I'm gonna give it Star. I'm actually gonna give it heart, you know, that's gonna be my name, is the heart logo, alright? I feel like since we're living in the year 2033, we all speak Emojian. It's got some nice music, actually. It's been a while since I played a fucking Game Boy Advance game, dude. Forget how much effort they actually put into these games. Of course, man, fuck, dude. This motherfucker still looks like he had a train hit across his face in anything. The, the faces never get better for this guy, trust me. Alright, so here we get to pick which vehicle we have. Obviously, this is the Toyota AEH6. The Trueno. Now, uh, if it's one thing I learned about Initial D is that Toyota is the fucking greatest car manufacturer imaginable. Alright, motherfucking Acura, motherfucking Honda, Nissan, any Japanese manufacturer, they, they pale in comparison to the 886. Uh, fucking forget about Mustangs, all those things, right? Th those are baby toys. The, re the real manufacturer is Toyota. Basically, Initial D is a giant Toyota ad. So you got the A86, you got the S13, you've got the uh, Skyline 32 apparently because it has a GTR logo on the back. It's a it's a it's a speedy vehicle apparently. You got the Evo, you got the FD, you got the FC, you got the Sil 80, the fucking <laughs> Jerry rig motherfucking car. The EG6, the dude that drove this in the anime was a piece of shit. Almost knocked my boy Takami off. Pissed him off real good though. All right, let's go hit the A86. Now I get to pick the color types. Of course we're gonna go and fucking. Black, like black and white, dude. That's the classic A86. Let's hit that up, man. Let's go deliver some motherfucking tofu, dude. Oh, they actually have like a. So before you do the races, you actually have to talk to all these guys and make little decisions. So let me go talk to Boss real quickly. Hey, Boss, what's up, dude? Oh, they have like individual backgrounds for everything, dude. Oh, here we got like a uh, romance option. So I don't really know what's Paragon and Renegade. I'm gonna go with the bottom one, dude. Uh oh, I think I might have. Oh. I, th I think I might have diddled Boss's little asshole there, dude. Boss is really proud of me. All right, so here we get to uh, fucking save our game at least. All right, so I'm gonna save the game in file number one. All right, real quick like that. We got the we got our car. We got everything. Now over here we get to check our messages and shit, which is pretty cool. We get to go over here and actually get like upgrade parts, I think. So like you know you can probably get like you know engine blocks, turbo things like that. Uh, and then what is number three? Uh, Whatever it is, it's too far and too much for me to comprehend. I'm gonna exit out of this and uh, go see go see what I gotta do. Oh, here we go, dude. He's got that same fucking Nismo shirt on that he always has since the fucking beginning of the goddamn anime, dude. All right, let's get this started, dude. I, I can't. I, I don't. I don't really want to think about this. Here we go. We got the actual game going. We got a tire bar. We got a brake. We got spirit. Whatever the fuck that means. All right, let's do it, man. Let's race down the mountains. <laughs> the Euro beats are intensifying. Ah, I fucking didn't give it enough gas. Oh, here we go. I'm leading it, boy. Fuck your little S13 game, my boy. All right, so map is coming up. What do we got? We got a little, ooh, we got a turn. All right, so how are we gonna make this turn? I think I should probably do it in the inside. Uh, okay, so now we got four seconds. Uh, fuck, I don't know which squiggly to pick. Middle one? 
Oh, we're slowing down the 86. Oh, oh, the 86. Oh no, there's something coming up. Ooh, which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Top squiggly. Oh shit! Fuck your little S13 boy. Oh, you beat me? What the fuck? Get out of here, dude. That's not happening today on my watch. All right, Fujiwara Tofu is not gonna lose to a fucking your little little amateur ass. We're making a little turn right now. Do I want to go through the end? Oh uh, fuck. All right, well, I'm probably gonna have to tailgate this guy. Uh, bottom one, let's go bottom one. As you can see, what you're missing out over here is me actually understanding what's going on, but I think that adds a little bit of a difficulty. I'm sort of learning it. Uh, bottom oh shit, I'm running out of spirit, dude. This ain't good. At least my brakes are dope. So I feel like I I'm really, like, I have to deal with my parameters. Like, I'm probably gonna lose some fucking grip. Braking's very important. Oh, no, this game's kind of addicting, dude. Actually, I didn't even expect this. You know, I saw, like, gameplay of it, but, oh, all right, inside, inside, bitch. Oh, I fucking, I was too, too I, wait. Let's try bottom. My spirit's at the top, though. Wait, what? Dude, I'm really fucking up my tires right now, dude. Fucking Brock is gonna be pissed. Yeah, his dad is Brock, by the way, I swear. That's what it's gotta be. Oh, shit, is this dude about to fucking spin out right now? We didn't even drift, dude. Talk to me. Step up the game, bro. You're embarrassing me. Wait. Am I running him over? We're doing it? No, I'm not. I'm still behind. What am I, ghost now? This game has a lot of, like, cutscenes and shit, dude. That's really impressive. Alright. Uh, map? What are we getting? Oh, dude, we're getting hairpin turns right now. Uh, right here. Right at the end. Right at the end. Right at the end, bitch. Alright, we're gonna go inside. Let's go. Let's go top. Wait, what are we doing here? Wait, are we gonna go do it? Are we gonna do it? Top again, top again, go top, go top. Wait a minute. Oh, we're still lagging behind. Wait. I don't think any of us really are fucking doing anything good right now. Wait. Right, another one turn. I wanna- Man, talk to me, can you just put your tires in the gutters? This game's getting intense, dude, Jesus. Alright. Can I do it? I don't know- I don't know if I'm really pressing the right one, but whatever it is, it's still enticing. At this point, it doesn't even matter if I win- <gasps> I was about to overtake him, dude. It doesn't even matter if I win or lose this one. I at least had fucking fun all the way through. Come on, talk to me. This ain't over yet. Mm hmm? Right at the end, right at the side, come on. Bottom. I still got a lot of fucking spirit, dude. Like, whatever the- Oh! Oh! Oh, I did it! Hit the bottom, boy. Uh, whatever that is, that better be gas. Step on the gas! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Get out. Oh, dude, my tires are shot to shit. Mm, another one turn. Another one turn. All right, if I'm going to get this right, maybe the bottom, but then we hit the middle, I guess? Shit, dude, my t I'm losing grip bad. Uh, another one. Uh, Keep it middle. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, dude, shit, 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 shit. My grip is horrible right now. Takumi's about to fucking flip the car out, dude. See, it's kind of a stark difference. Like, they could have actually made a real, light, like, real racing game, but they made a more intense, like, decision-making version of this game, too. Wait, what is this? Oh, we're going down the straight, dude, aren't we? Uh... Yeah, we weren't gonna win in a straight, dude. I am no downhill specialist. What is... Oh, Gonna make a right. My tires are gone, though. Wait, does this mean my, uh, yeah, it kind of feels like shit is delayed. Let's hit middle. So I'm doing a lot of bottoms. Let's try middle real quick. Oh, wait, what is this? Uh, hit the top. Oh! No, we didn't hit the top there. Fuck. Yeah, he always keeps coming out in front. It always seems like before the scene over here, I beat him. But I don't. At least my spirit's, like, good. Whatever the fuck that's really supposed to mean. Man, I'm really not doing Takumi pro. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? They could have easily made like a racing game version of it. Like there were racing games on it. Like I remember one of the racing games that I used to play was Need for Speed Underground, which like a lot of people played that on the PS2, but you know, I didn't have it on the PS2 at the time. Uh, you know, my parents got it for me on the fucking Game Boy Advance, which God bless them, dude. That game fucking gave me so many good times. But like this game could have easily just been a racing game. They made it like a Heavy Rain-esque racing title, which surprisingly works very well. Like, if you want to play an Initial D racing game, like, they have the- they, they release them, like, every year, I think, for, like, what, the PlayStation 3? But they don't give you these kind of games. I really wish there's, like, a translated version, and believe me, I tried finding a translated version. 
Uh, try going mid, try going top. So you really have to make the split session second decisions too. I can imagine even if this game was translated, it'd be pretty difficult because you're trying to really make these decisions as you go on. Now, of course, as we progress through, it almost feels like that we really don't have much of a, I guess you could say like, it's not, it, it, it kind of gets like stale, I, I would find halfway through. We're gonna go around from outside the edge, but I don't know, bottom one? Like over here, see, it almost looks like I've touched him. Hit the bottom one again. No, that wasn't gonna do anything, but I'm like right on his ass cheeks. But actually, Takumi's pretty fucking close to the side of him, to be honest. I gotta say, like, cinematically, this game does the best it can. It's actually impressive to see. I'm probably gonna lose this race. Uh, yeah, my spirit's the only thing that's keeping me going. But surprisingly, I'm sitting over here wondering, like, this game, like, it's, it's weird. It's what it is. Keep the top. I feel like I'm coming out. Ooh. Oh, fuck. He's probably gonna speed past me, dude. To see, he sped past me. It feels like at that point I hit the brakes so damn hard that it doesn't really make it. Wait, yeah. So this is the ending of it. This is where they. This is where they hear both of us are coming. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, he beat my ass. Yeah, you see. So you lost it. Yeah, you you be talking me, but again, talking me was fucking playing with a literacy rate of zero percent. All right, so he got. So I got. So he got a one. Actually, wait, hundred. I leveled up. What? <laughs> you got XP for this? That's pretty cool. Oh, so it seems like it kind of has this branching storyline type deal. Like, you win or you lose. That's actually kind of cool. Like, I wish I could understand what was going on here. I really wish that there is some form of English translation patch that eventually comes out for this game. Because it almost feels like I'm playing a hidden gem on the Game Boy Advance. Not really a hidden gem, obviously. Actually, now that we leveled up, let me check this real quick. So we don't really have any text messages for me to check. But it seems like I have 100 XP. What do I buy? Oh, I can buy, I can bar. I can probably see like over here, it says you can buy them for like 130 parts, points or whatever. I don't, I don't really have, I need, I'm missing like what I assume to be 30 points. So I feel like if I keep playing the races, I level up and I have a better 8-6 by the time I get to go to the race. Let me hit exit and see where you get after this. Oh, it's actually the next day. So it counts your losses and it counts your wins. And I think that changes the storyline to an extent. Or is it the same day? Huh, that's kind of weird, actually. That's, that's actually really interesting. It has, it's got, like, what seems to be branching storylines, multiple cars, and a multiplayer battle system. So, think about it like this. This is a racing game where you make decisions, and it has a multiplayer decision-making racing simulator. What the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes, you, you look at what Japan comes up with, and you end up pretty confused, dude. What the fuck did I just play, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I... I walk into these videos sometimes expecting that I, I'm, I'm, I understand what I'm going to be playing. And I do some research before I get in. But boy, was I surprised this time. I think I played the heavy rain of drifting simulators. All right. While all my decisions were terrible, my tires were shot to shit, my brakes were gone. I think I can say one thing for sure. I had a lot of spirit. I had a lot of spunk. I got a gold star for trying. I want to play this game. But I really, I, I'm gonna sit back actually, and if I do record this again, I'm gonna come back with like a translation sheet that I'll come up with where I can actually make these decisions as I go on. But it feels like the decisions always change and that's what makes this game really freaking interesting. I'm probably gonna look up a let's play about this afterwards too from like some Japanese YouTuber and find out the actual story to this fucking game, dude. So yeah, that was Initial D, another stage for the Game Boy Advance. A surprisingly good game that I found on the Game Boy Advance because of my Initial D phase and Fuck, I wish I could actually really play it. I wish this game came out in fucking, you know, America and shit, dude. But they probably tried to add, like, you know, Jay-Z and some fucking Mustangs into it or some stupid shit like that. So, uh, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it, dislike it. I've got some tofu to deliver. See you guys later.